Yo, 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 it's Jeb in the his house. Big time, hustling Uncle Sam on the taxpayer's dime. Where's the space pen? Then our space bridges, we gone from rags to buku riches. Throw your rockets in the air like you just don't care. Throw your rockets in the air like you just don't care. We a G unit, baby. And don't you forget it, we a G force, homie. That's a G unit. We on fire like a blade of home down. See you later, but before I'm out, let's launch this cap simulator. We a G unit, baby. We, we a G unit, baby. Hello, everybody. Thy Lord Root here, and welcome to. Well, actually, I don't know, because I haven't come up with the title for But with everything that's come out, with the new 1.0 release, I thought that, um, we would maybe start ourselves a new career mode, gang. I'm going to go hard on this. Um, I'm going to leave pretty much everything where it's at, just to see where hard mode is in this new game. Now, things aren't going to be as easy as they used to be, because the aerodynamic model has changed. I'm just maybe going to call this, um, let me think of a name, maybe a G-Limit, because, um, we do have the new aerodynamic model. I think G-Limit's a good, um, a good name for it, unless there happens to be a game that I might eventually play called G-Limit. I don't think that will be the case. We'll get rid of this stuff here. And we will just start out by going to the contract building. Now we saw in the last video that I uploaded that we do happen to have a couple of nice things. For instance, these records are now automatic. But there are some things that will limit us as well. For instance, if we go here to this guy, you'll notice, first of all, Kerbals cost us a fair amount of money. In fact, they cost us way more than we have. So, you know what that means? That means that we are going to need to rescue Kerbals from orbit in order to man our crew, which means that we're not going to have really any idea what we're going to get. We're just going to have to hope that these four guys will survive. And, um... We'll, we'll do that. So, normally, you know, Jeb is the first guy to man this. I think, in honor of the new game, Valentina is much better off at doing this. So we'll create this capsule with Valentina. I'm going to put these guys on the side here. And I'm not going to have a staging area, or staging error rather. Valentina, uh, Valentina Carmen, you get into that capsule and you do your thing. Now this is going to be such a basic craft that we're not even going to bother giving it a name. But uh, what we will do is we will gather some science here. And uh, take a crew report. Gathering science early on is very important it would seem. Because we don't have to really worry as much about, um... We don't have to worry maybe as much about money. Or so it would seem. Anyway, I don't know why I'm turning on SAS. We have no gimbling. Let's get this candle lit. And we can observe the best Rigu. I'm going to do that, and then we'll take a crew report as well. And we will just coast 
all the way up to whatever the case happens to be for Apoapsis. One of the things with the new Arrow model is that we can get a lot higher. You can see we're beginning to unlock several records here. In fact, we even got above 300 something meters per second. We will need to go faster, of course. Let's see what else is on our contracts. I do not think we will get all that much higher. We may reach our altitude that we are looking for here. Given the thinness of the atmosphere, it may not be such a bad idea. But I think we are about to reach Apoapsis, so we just barely reached that. Now I know with relative certainty that we can get out of the atmosphere in really two or three stops. And uh, you know we're beginning to pick up speed here. Still lots of electric charge. I'm not really going to bother too much with pad science because it's not really worth anything. Even though it would be kind of cool to do. I mean, this is actually a pretty good step so far. We've already completed four contracts. We're about to complete our fifth one. And you know, it may be good for us to... This is completely reusable as it is right now, but... We may want to simply do our thing. I'm going to pop shoots pretty soon. Because we do not want to crash into the, um, the ground here. Maybe around a thousand or so. And that is actually a fairly... That's a lot of G's. Well, let's come down here. I think we will get close to 100% recovery for this. If not, well, it really doesn't matter if we don't. Because we're already in the black here. We are way in the black. One thing I'm kind of interested in is, um... I know in the development log there was this idea of losing conditions, which I've always been a big fan of. It's just kind of hard to do with KSP. We got 100% back because we're at the pad. Let's see what we have here. We could do... Between the contract building and the astronaut complex, that's a difficult thing to, to think of. We got here a science limit of 100, however. So let's see. More science is always welcome. And antennae as well. Let's see what else we can unlock. We can unlock nothing. Well, uh, that'll be okay. We will just throw on the next SRB and see what we can get out of that. Maybe we can get some high altitude science. And we can get that five kilometer Mark. Escaping the atmosphere and orbiting Kerbin are going to be my next two things.
things, really. And I think we will probably... I'm going to take this time to unlock the Science Junior. Because it's worth the at least to my way of thinking. The solid rocket booster will unlock too. May will cut down the thrust just a little bit. And given that there's no gambling on this to begin with, I think I'm going to put Bob in charge. I think this should be enough for us to, to get over to where we want to get to. We are still pretty high up. Now we want to be careful here. This is Definitely a rough ride for Bob, I think. Let's just see how high we can get. I think we can maybe get a crew report out of this. If we can get up to 20k, I'll be happy. This says we're going to 22. I'm somewhat inclined to believe it. Well, let's try that. We have the upper atmosphere. Grab a crew report. Observe materials bay. So far, so good. I'm a little bit worried that wherever it is we're landing will not be far enough. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, I think we're still pretty close to KSC. So, um... We'll see maybe if we can't get something out of this guy here. If we can get it to stop wobbling. Oh, we'll get a little bit out, I think. Unless we're... We're still at KSC, I believe, so we're not really going to be able to do anything about that. We'll just slow ourselves down. And hopefully, um, Bob will survive the ride. Having gathered much in the way of science, he will no doubt be able to do his thing. So I don't know quite what mods are available at the moment. I do know that most of them are probably broken. So really all of this I am doing by um by hand. I may throw in Kerbal Alarm Clock and maybe Kerbal Engineer. I can't really think of any other mod I would want or need. 
at this point. But uh, Bob will return with our science very shortly, and maybe, you know, we're already making a fair deal of money from this. That may not last long. In fact, I'm fairly certain it won't. If we can go into orbit, then um, that will probably be okay. I believe we're going to litho break. But that's okay, you know, we've made more than enough money for that booster to be useful. I mean, as long as we keep our science junior intact, I'm not going to complain about it. So 34 science, let's see maybe what we can get with that. Now, normally I would wait on these aerodynamic things, and I still may. You know, it's really hard to tell, because if we're going to orbit, then we will want... We'll definitely want a heat shield, I think. I don't believe we'll really need it, to tell you the truth. I mean, one thing I do know is that if we grab this heat shield, not enough science. We need just a little bit more. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to do something I probably shouldn't. And just uh, collect that and recover it because it's free. Yes, everything's been laid out again. Four and a half signs. You know, that's, um, that's going to be very helpful for us. Maybe we can grind up some other science as well, because what we can do, I think, is we can go over here. Oh, we need a vessel. We will get Bob accustomed to um, this idea that he is going to... Um, be doing science by, you know, basically throwing a whole bunch of science on this pod. And I really don't mind doing this because of the fact that, oh, we still got job. We will have Bob, you know, um, get just about everything he can out of it. Because, you know, it's not much. It really isn't. We got ourselves a crew report from the runway. We have this materials bay. We have lots of really cool things. We can't take a surface sample, unfortunately. We can get Bob to come out. Take an EVA. He's flying over the shores of Kerbin. We will get him to... That bug's still there, of course. I could send him all around. I think we can climb onto that.
let's grab that and we'll bring you back in is it cheap sure but we're cheap kind of people So, here's what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we definitely want the service bay for experiments here. And for the parachutes, too. We need just a little bit more science for what we're trying to do here for the nose cones. Let's see what we have upcoming ahead. We have probes and more science. So that's one I'm going to be looking forward to, I believe. And planes. Let's see, um, we have engines here. And we have struts and upper stage engines. Okay, well let's see maybe what we have going on here. We have some altitude records. Nothing really in the way of, you know, we haven't gotten to space yet. And, um, I'm gonna try and push out just a little bit further this time. We'll get ourselves the service bay. I am a bit worried about the way these parachutes are going to react. But I'll just open that guy up there. I don't even know how much I spent on the service bay, and maybe I should pay attention to that sort of thing. But we'll just throw in some parachutes down here. If I can back to select them. I like how they seem to attach pretty easily. And one moment, and we are back. So, uh, just a couple of things. I guess so. You know, we got this service bay which I think we should have. And I think we'll be able to fit these guys in pretty well as well. We'll just close her on up there. The idea is going to be that we're going to deploy... This guy's going to be like a drug shoot. Oh, maybe... I'll do this as well. Now, once we leave, there's going to be the minor issue that we're not going to be able to transmit EVA reports. I believe, with this heat shield, we can handle a really steep re-entry. But uh, other than that, you know, we'll be kind of hard-pressed here for any sort of, I suppose, graceful re-entry. So it would be good for us to maybe use these micro-landing legs, these landing struts, and hope that they do not cause too much in the way of drag. From my last video, I am of the impression that it may be possible for us to be able to, um, if we play our cards right, for us to be able to 
you at least get suborbital. Getting orbital is possibly going to be difficult like this. So I'm going to do a suborbital deal. And I actually do want to leave Jeb in there. We need to get our pilots trained up. But, um... Yeah, let's go ahead and launch. We'll call this the, um... The GF-1. The, um... Oddly enough, with that thing being, you know, rocket-shaped and everything, the GF-1 would not fit, you would think, but... After all, I did, on a whim, decide to call this G-Force. And so, Jub will now begin his ascent. Probably could have and should have turned down the um, the heat on that. But we're going to be breaking so many records. I mean, that's the thing. As long as we do not heat up too much, I think we'll be okay. There is a real risk for that right now, by the way. I could very easily... I mean, I'm going... Okay, that's not going to work. Uh, let's... That's okay, we can at least... We can duplicate some of the science down here, I think. By the way, I am aware that you cannot get into orbit by shooting straight up. I'm just still... Um, really, I'm just trying to... Um, get some records unlocked here. And maybe I will capture some science when I land. Unfortunately, I think we will not hit our... Our next one is 70 kilometers, it looks like. So that's probably going to be the end of the freebies. I may be able to hit this speed, though, coming back down. I'm gonna try it. I'm going to deploy the drogue at some... Oh, I don't know, maybe two kilometers? See, Jump can take this. He is, um... There's a note here. Yeah, we're coming back down. I think we will have at least traveled five kilometers this way. Let's see if maybe we can get past that. When we go into orbit, we'll just have to see. Because, you know, orbit is, um... Orbit is a deal for us. And, um... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll get down pretty soon. Probably a lot sooner rather than later. This does make contracts just a little bit easier. Oh no. That could have been bad. I'm gonna deploy the
the drogue now. Obviously, I need an action group for that. We'll just keep that. I think maybe... There may be no point in this at all. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait for it to land. We'll bring down the gear, though, and... Okay, we're about to pop shoots. Well, you know, Jeb's got the easiest ride of all, it looks like. Because, uh, Jeb... You know, he... Just happens to be very, um... Uh, he, he's got a very, very sedate pace. He's coming in at 4 meters per second on landing legs with, um... with suspension. You know, I really think he's not always cracked up to be. Not like Valentina, who, um, you know, did the first manned flight. Okay, there we go. We will just collect this. and recover our vessel. So the GF-1 landed without incident, and that's actually what I had hoped for. I think that it would be bad if it hadn't. We're still only 2.8 kilometers away, though. And yeah, Jub gained experience somehow. Does that make him a fully qualified pilot? You know, I guess not. <laughs> It looks like the first person to go to space is actually going to probably be Bill. Bill will, um... In fact, uh, well, we hadn't met that record yet. There's not much of a way that we can do much about that. I mean, all I know is we've made this thing damn near idiot-proof. We'll call this the GF 1.1. Might be useful for a suborbital deal. And we just need to do some rearrangement of the stages. Uh, we'll just move this guy down here. Missing ladder. Unused monopropellant. Very good. We don't need that. So GF 1.1 is going to probably be the first suborbital flight. Now NASA had done quite a bit of qualification training on this. And I think you know that's all well and good, but... Oh no, Jeb, Jeb, no. Quit sneaking in there. It is Bill's turn. You have to wait your turn again, Jeb. Let's see. Put Bill in. Having a little bit of experience on this engineer, as it turns out, is a really good idea, because not only can they repair things, Bill may be the foreman of our resource gathering one day. Proficient engineers, as it turns out, can um, combine resources effectively. Okay, so we're messing around now with multiple stages. I am going to move the drogue 
up here. Because really the drogue should come up there. And oh no. Oh, uh, this is not good. Did we get... A... No, we did not. But we're gonna end up in a new biome. Let's just get rid of that. This is turning out to be a little bit trickier than I thought it would be. How's our deal going? We need to now reach 17 kilometers, which I think we will do. Bill's sort of setting records here. But, uh, in reality, we should be facing Prograde or retrograde. So we do not re enter at a terrible speed. So, yeah, it's um, about time for fans. I don't know what I did to make. This guy just a little bit more stable, but I'm not sure I want to really... Okay, let's not point... Let's not point prograde. Pointing prograde is... I know what it is. We're, we're bottom heavy. We put the person in that's not the pilot, and then trust them. To be able to deal with this. Oh no, it's sticky keys. There we go. Let's see. Got a materials bay here. I think we can get a crew report. Probably not a bad thing for us to get. We can always use a little bit more science. Just go ahead and open the service bay. We'll make more in the way of um, of drag. Hopefully, I hope that this creates drag. I'm also going to extend my gear. Now, in order to get this guy down to where we want it to be, I'm going to deploy these chutes here. And 
I am hoping... Oh, we can't EVA because we're not landed. I guess it's too dangerous for them. Let's see if we get Mystery Goo for being flying in a different biome. It would seem not. All I know is that we are getting science out of this at least. Maybe not as much as we would like. But every little bit counts. tipped over, unfortunately. Can I get that goo container? Yes, I can. We'll just grab ourselves the material bay, and then maybe Bill will... I don't know how... He's technically flying over the water. We will take this data. We'll board that real quick. Get ourselves another crew report. We'll I have no idea what's going on here. Maybe we can... I'm hoping we can clamber up on this. Okay, there we go. We'll recover that. So far, we're making money hand over fist. Reputation, maybe not so much, but everybody at least has one skill point. And I'm thinking it is time for us to have wings. So what are some of the issues we had? Oh, um, well, you know, we did have this one issue to where we simply did not have enough Delta V. I'm gonna kick the sky down. We are sort of getting diminishing returns out of this now. So let's see, we have 8k currently. If we unlock this guy here, we'll get gimbling. And I think with this we should be able to get into space. Maybe not into orbit, but I think space is doable. Plus, we can throttle this. So we'll put, um... Valentina, she's next up on the rotation. Which would make Jub maybe the first person in orbit, but Valentina the first person in space. I forgot to check the cost on that. It's a little bit too late for that now. I think most of our cost is actually 
the payload. with this we'll be able to get her pretty high up. I'm not too worried about how high she gets because we can send you know a crew report for Job. Maybe she's beginning to pitch over just a little bit. No stability. If we can If we can just keep her going, we just may be out of SAS. I think that's the deal. Let's see what her. Oh, she's got plenty of... We almost had it that time. And there we go. Unfortunately, kind of a lost cause here. We'll get that extra 3.0 science at least. I think we definitely do need fins on that rocket. See what her cash is like. I mean, one thing that is certain, at least to me, is that, um, you know, we can go suborbital. And I think we won't have any trouble doing it once I sort out the control issues. That's going to be a very important step for us. Unfortunately, we have to, you know, do something about that. Oh no. That was about to be bad. I think maybe we can... There we go. There we go. The, the 
but that was um, a little bit touch and go for a while. I don't really trust Bill to uh, be able to handle re-entry as such. Or Bob, so I'm going to switch between Valentina and Job. I mean, I guess what we'll tell her is that, um, you know, Yuri Gagarin was actually chosen to pilot uh, Vostok 1 because they wanted to save his successor for um, the more important mission of being in orbit for a day. Incidentally, uh, Yuri Gagarin was forbidden from ever flying in a spacecraft again and tragically died in a training jet accident. However, I think at this point we're not going to lose either Valentina or Job. I think I may have learned my lesson on that if I can just possibly get this set up so that um, we can get out of the atmosphere. As for why these guys flipped over, I could not tell you. I'm not going to bother gathering the mystery goo this time. But we do have a little bit of extra science, which is always good. Uh, let's see, can we get a job up there? I don't know. You know, we're about at the same place we were earlier. So I'm thinking... If we're able to stabilize this rocket, that could be a big F, by the way. But let's assume that we are. And then, oh. Um, oh, Valentina snuck back in. Unfortunately. Remember, you're supposed to be getting ready for the important mission. Let us try this again. I'm thinking the LV-909 is probably what I want next. As much as batteries are appealing to me. I think, um... We could really use something like the LV-909. So if we can get high enough, I'll use Jub to collect the high atmosphere science. Let's just get up to speed. I think, you know what, we're going to have oscillations. If I'm not, well, we already do have oscillations. Jeb may 
possibly... I need to, uh... I think we can keep Jeb going here. If I can get him out of the 10k region. I mean, we got plenty of fuel left. Okay, we're in the upper atmosphere. I'm just going to, to go full throttle. I think Jub can get up to where he needs to go. I wonder how much... What does that pay for? going to have to be a little bit careful here. Given that we have no transmitter, Jeb is not going to be able to do much to help us, but we're slightly, you know, we got a, a little while to go here. I think we might be able to bring back some some goo here. Let's just warp up to 250. So I think if we do the crew report, we'll be... You know, we'll be okay. Still pretty high up. By the way, this is not an optimal suborbital trajectory by any means, so... As we saw in the other video, if, we're, if it were not for the fact that we had such an awesome heat shield... Then, um... You know, we would most certainly burn up in the atmosphere, and that's still a possibility here. Let's not make any mistake about that. Really, orbit is the only thing we have to worry about now. The job has been further and higher than anybody on the planet, which isn't really saying much because there aren't that many people on the planet. You know, the hope is that maybe... In fact... This is a little... trick... that I learned on the stream. In case you were ever wondering... if, um, this was something that could be done... you can, in fact, upgrade... this guy here. Yeah, maybe... Let's see, can we get... We got the VIP stuff here. I am not going to bother with that. But Jeb is all of a sudden... going to... 
be capable of going on EVA. In which case, you know, well, I'm glad he can hold on to that. We'll just grab ourselves an EVA report here. We'll get two of those EVA reports. And maybe we'll release one of those goo canisters. Because we already have one, I think. Yeah, this guy's already set. So Jeb has performed... I guess you can call it the first spacewalk. Not really. I mean, he didn't... He just hung on to the... Uh, to the side of the capsule. Let's grab that EVA report here. And you know what, we might as well take the data. I think Orbit will probably be next. I'm not sure though. If we do orbit, then we won't have to grind contracts nearly as long. Let's close up the patient. And, whoa, okay, let's... Maybe try to keep the sky. Satisfied. Oh no, 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 no. Wow. I reckon we just took a reputation hit for that. And we didn't get the science either. Something tells me that, um, we were just a little bit too risky with that. How much is it going to cost to hire a replacement, I wonder? Probably more than I'm willing to pay, but let's see. 103000 Well, these things do happen. I think maybe I just got a little bit too ambitious there. That's something to remember. But let's see, we have... probes we could use, um... Oh, we can't get the science. Hmm. That is a bit of a predicament. One which... I wasn't banking on happening so quickly. Well, I think it may be possible with Valentina to get into orbit. Just have to, um, you know, we'll have to... ...to do some messing around. 
The aerodynamic stability thing is something that has to change, though. It's so... You know, it's not very good to re-enter the atmosphere like that. So it's orbit now or never. At least to my way of thinking. Ten ground, which seems about right for an orbital rocket. But you never know. We will stick Valentina here in the pilot seat. Bill will probably kill himself. So let's try this. It's going to be a rough ride for Valentina, I will say that much. And I'm thinking at this point, Orbit is maybe a bit optimistic. You know, we're blowing through our cash pretty quickly. I don't think this mission is going to be salvageable. So we might as well save Valentina because so uh, you know that is rather unfortunate, I do have to say that you know maybe I should rethink my strategy here. If, um, if I can't get this thing into orbit, then that's going to be a bit of a problem. I could send Valentina up. And I will try that. Probably not going to work the way that I want to, though. We'll see if maybe we can get around this problem.
deploy the secondary parachutes momentarily. And to think we were so close to... And there really isn't much we can do about the situation, it doesn't seem like. Except cut her losses. And maybe have Valentina do both suborbital and orbit. So let's stick her in GF2, which we know will work. And let's see if maybe we can get her up to um, up to some kind of respectable velocity here. You know, half of me is tempted to say that what's causing our issue with the drag or those landing legs... I mean, we're not aerodynamically stable, that much is certain. Oh, no, 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 oh, come back. Come back. I think to make up for this, we will need to um, have some kind of record. And I do realize I'm fighting the orbit of the Kerbin here. There's really not much that can be done about that. I don't think we'll have enough Delta V to get into orbit, anyhow, so it's so... The name of the game is probably going to be to alleviate... Oh, we're... We're screwing up quite a bit. Let's at least try to alleviate the re-entry. Let's grab suborbital sides. We'll have a brand new biome at least, and we will have traveled quite some distance. Let's get your crew report going. And let's take your EVA report as well. There we go.
I have a feeling I will be landing in the desert, so... Oh, right. I turned off SAS. Or it came off, rather, because I left the capsule. Did we get any cash from that? I do not believe we will be landing in the desert today. Maybe if I deploy my drogue chute, we will pick up sufficient drag. I bet you the next milestone is 250. Oh, that's it. That's it on the milestones. We can no longer depend on records to keep us going. If I had done that with Jeb, he probably would have survived. Instead, I got rather hasty. But we're at least back to where we were. We've got plenty of science to mess around with. I'm hoping that my reputation has not suffered too much from this. Just deploy these guys here. So there we go, Valentina is going to be the star astronaut, because Jeb could not hack it. Or rather, Mission Control could not hack it, and Jeb suffered as a result. I'm thinking definitely that, you know, I wanted to do probes, and probes may still be viable for us. But uh, we'll have to, to be careful, for sure. One of the things we need is a suborbital rocket that we can populate so that we can take on some of these contracts. And we'll just... I'll pop these chutes here and land. I probably should have gathered more space science, but we'll have plenty of an opportunity to do that. I mean, we gathered the oh, science junior. Which is going to be important. We got 67 science, at least. That, um... That isn't bad, so... Before I leave, what do we want to do with this? We could... We could either take... Aviation... Which... Seems like a pretty good idea. Aviation would give us something in terms of control, I think. Or we could possibly take this and get more science. And send out probes that don't kill us. 
Well, between sending out probes and this, I'm going to take this because we can unlock enough science, I believe, for it to be worthwhile. What we want is, um, we want something that will give us money. And then we want to, um, we want to do something that would make it easy for us to, um, to get something useful out of the, um, the VIP thing. Now, I think that this guy right here, we'll just do that real quickly, because it really does not cost us anything at all. We have everything we need to test it, really. And it'll pay for some of the new things, like the uh, thermometer, for instance. We can drain this thing of fuel. And it'll work quite well. We just have to really think about um, what it is that we're going to do about the whole science thing. And I don't expect we'll get too much of it, but if we get rid of the fuel, then almost the entire cost of this is uh, this guy here, which is paid for. So we'll just... We'll grab that one little bit of science and call it a day. One point four science and that deal. So there we go, not much of it. I think in the next episode what I'll do is I will try to make an orbital vehicle. And if not, at least maybe get one of these forest contracts? Maybe? We will have to see. We have this basic jet engine here that could be useful for money, but orbit is more appealing to me. So that's what I'm going to do. Until then, this has been Thy Lord Root, and I will see you 